Welcome Capricorn, this is your mid-month tarot forecast for April 2024. It is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, leave what does not. Big welcome to those that are new to my channel, those that follow me regularly, you're rocking awesome, love your support. And if you do enjoy my readings and inspirational videos, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so my readings come through to you in your feed. Now there will be a bonus reading for the star sign video that gets the highest number of views and likes and it will come out at the end of the month yeah so um make sure you hit that like button all right let's dive in my love so we're going to pull you an opening energy from the heart and soul oracle and let's see what you need to know oh this is beautiful so much color and life and water and a lot of energy going on it says do not discount your imagination for it has great power Amazing things will unfold for you if you pay attention to your imagination. Respect and honor it because just below the surface of this seemingly real world is a dreamlike world full of imagination. What you imagine is not fiction. Very often it is the beginning of a wonderful new creation. So you may have had an inspired idea, possibly wondering whether or not you should act on it or feeling like there's something that you want to work on. Yeah, uh, Spirit saying trust those ideas. All right, we're going to be doing some predictions, past, present, and future for you uh, with the beautiful Angel Wisdom Tarot. First up, let's have a look at the situation. Okay, you got the six of air. So coming out of troubled waters, into calmer waters, overcoming a challenge of some sort. Saying that, let's have a look at the challenge. Okay, the challenge for you is getting enough rest and relaxation. So you've got the four of air here. She's in this beautiful meditative pose. So really looking after yourself, not overdoing it. Let's have a look at the basis of the situation. You've got the high priestess energy. So guy or girl, doing your spiritual practices is really important at this time. It's really going to help boost you up. Let's have a look at the recent past. In the recent past, you've got the night of air. So things rushing in really fast. Could be documents to review, things where you've had to respond very quickly. May have been some rapid changes happening in your life. Let's have a look at the present moment. Okay, that one's fly out. Okay, you've got the seven of fire, which is protecting yourself or standing up to people. Uh, it can be challenging others, but doing it, you know, if it's worth your time and if not, you're just walking away from it. But uh, it's an easy to, to stand up for yourself and what you believe in. Mm, interesting. Let's have a look. Need some more guidance on that. Okay, you got the one of water or the ace of cups, which is a totally contrasting energy. It's a beautiful new love offer coming in. Feels like parts of your life, Capricorn, are a little chaotic right now. And then in comes this beautiful watery energy of a love offer. You offering your cup of love or someone offering their cup of love to you. Let's have a look at the near future. In the near future, you've got the opportunity to partner up with others, the two of fire, to work on a shared goal or vision, to work on an idea. This is your energy. Okay, so you've got the queen of fire, which is very talented, trusting in your abilities. You can do anything, Spirit's saying, whether you're a guy or a girl. Mm, it's interesting, there's a match here. Oh my God, there's a divine match. Okay, we've got the king and queen of fire. So stepping into more of a leadership role. Some of you, it's public speaking. For others, there's a divine pair here. Mm -hmm. Equally, equally matched. It's also come out with the queen of earth. So whatever you do is going to be very balanced around financial security and stability. Uh, there may also be a little bit of a love triangle going on here because there's two feminines and one masculine. But I'm not feeling anything untoward. I'm really feeling a sense of stability coming through. So it could just represent aspects of self. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Let's have a look at the energy of those around you. Okay. You've got the two of it, so there could be a bit of a stalemate going on with someone. Both of you are unwilling to budge or make a decision or procrastinating on a decision. Mm. And you got the Queen of Water, so the Queen of Cups. Oh my God, I've got to say Capricorn, there's a lot of different energies coming out here in your reading with masculine and feminine. There's a lot of feminine energy coming out. There's a masculine. If you're dealing with a masculine, they've got lots of options dealing with lots of options when it comes to love because mm, there's a very floaty feminine energy here who's balanced but more in their emotional side and then there's two other feminines who are very strong equally strong but more focused on their coin again it could represent aspects of self all right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears position. Oh, yeah. You're worrying about deception. Someone running off with all the swords while your back's turned. Okay. I've got to say those fears are not unfounded because of the number of energies that are coming out here. But I don't think, I have to be honest with you, right? is that if you're in a dating scene and you're single, and this message is only going to apply to some of you, is don't naively go into situations with someone and think that you're their only option. They're, and there's nothing wrong with somebody having multiple options and exploring their options before they make a choice. doesn't mean that they're sleeping around. It just means don't naively go into situations where there's multiple people involved and you put your heart and soul on the line and get intimate with someone when they're dealing with lots of other people, right? Be mindful. Be mindful, darlings. They can go for both genders, but there's a masculine here with lots of feminines. Mm -hmm. you got the night of earth. So Spirit's saying you need to be very practical at this time. Do a lot of planning, particularly if you're worrying about any kind of deception in your life. And watch your coin. Any other guidance here? Oh, you will have victory, spirit saying. So it will come to light if somebody is pretending that you're the only one in their life and you're not, darlings. You're not. There's multiple energies playing out. It will come to light. It doesn't look like it's someone that's devious, but they could just not be really upfront about how many people they're exploring, I've got to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at the outcome. Oh, the Spirit's saying you're just going to have to rely on your strength this time. All right, so put some clarifiers with the uh, Muse Tarot. Let's have a look in the centre here where you're coming out of a challenging time and you need to balance your energy for some rest. Mm, we got two here. Yeah, there's a big focus on your financial security and stability right now. So that could be the challenging times you're coming out of. And you've got the eight of voices, which is feeling stuck and trapped a little, which is more around your emotions. Any guidance on that? Okay. Again, you've got the message that you're overcoming challenges. So you're coming out of this energy, but it has been deeply challenging, darlings. And this is where you're heading towards this beautiful abundance. This is the king in this deck. All right, so this is where you're heading. You're not there yet. Mm -mm. Look, if you are feeling any states of and you have gone through a challenging situation, you really want to just boost yourself up instantly. I have just partnered with Innertune app, right, which is a free app you can download on your mobile phone. And you create playlists or it instantly creates playlists of affirmations with beautiful music behind it. You can choose the voice that speaks to you. You can play it for a minute or five minutes just to elevate your mood a bit, yeah. Uh, you can just tap on it or you can set reminders during the day to remind you to listen to your affirmations. There is a premium version which just gives you longer listening time and more affirmations to access and music to access, yeah. But if you're interested in getting that free app, I love it. Um, I'll put the link on here and down below. I love that you're coming out of challenging times, though, and you're heading towards this abundance. Let's have a look at you in this High Priestess energy. Mm, you just need to speak your truth and with integrity. You're going to be fine. Yeah, so you just be honest with yourself, particularly if someone's not being totally truthful. 
Let's have a look at the present position where there's a need to defend yourself and stand up for yourself and there's this new love offer on the table. Oh, you're going to be the star. Hello, you're the star. You're the standout, darlings. Mm -hmm. Yep. So no matter what, you have this beautiful, amazing energy within you that cannot be replicated by others, right? No. All right, let's have a look at this king over here with two feminines. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on about coin and leadership. Mm. You're the ace of material. So whatever you're doing, darlings, it's about focusing on new ideas. Spirit's saying your idea is going to bring in an amazing amount of about abundance and prosperity, uh, which is sitting in the future somewhere, right? It's not here right now. All right, let's have a look at the energies of others where there's a bit of a stalemate going on. And you've got the Queen of Water here, the Queen of Cups. Very much inner emotional energy. Okay, you've got the Page of Voices, so Spirit's saying to just try and avoid overthinking situations and getting stuck in your head. You may need to go within and have that quiet time. You've got the Hierophant. Often the Hierophant represents us coming to a place of truth. It's also in this deck means that you can do anything you want on your own if you need to, right? Let's have a look at the hopes and fears position, worrying about deception. You're getting very disciplined and organised planning and you're going to have victory. Okay. All right, a couple of messages here. And I'm going to read them around the other way. You've got the six of emotions, which is looking backwards. Some of you in the past may have dealt with someone who was deceptive, right? So it's got you on edge a bit, particularly if it's relation to love or a connection related to love where you lost financial security and stability in some way. Because it's come out with the queen of emotions. You need to get into this beautiful watery balanced energy, which means releasing the past challenges from self. Let's have a look at the outcome, which is all about strength. Spirit's saying you're the magician in the mirror. You do anything you want, darlings. It's up to you. Yeah. You are the actor and director in your own life. Take charge, darlings. Take charge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's put you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Let's have a look in the center here where there's a lot here about you overcoming challenges and deep challenges, darling, but you're headed towards abundance. Oh, Spirit's saying to open your heart up to love. So... Whatever you've gone through has been deeply challenging. Mm. Open up that heart chakra. There's a masculine totally wrapped around this feminine with a beautiful swan wrapped around them both. Yeah. Let's have a look at the present position where you need to defend yourself. There's this new love offer and you being the star, darlings. <laughs> oh, Spirit's saying you take a fresh approach to life. And love. You need to heighten your vitality and boost up your life force energy. All right, let's have a look at this king over here, surrounded by a couple of queens. And Spirit's saying you need to focus on your ideas. Well, you are going to get illumination about it, darling. You won't be in the dark. You will not be in the dark. You'll also get illumination about the ideas you want to work on. Let's have a look at this stalemate going on. We're possibly overthinking things. Mm, you've got to get to higher ground to get perspective on it, particularly if you're butting heads with someone. Let's have a look at your hopes and fears position where you're worrying about deception and spirit saying you'll let go of the past. You will have victory. No, you're creating the perfect setting in your life, which is so beautiful, right? So keep focusing on that. All right, let's pull your message from your angels oh you pulled Archangel Raphael feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light I Archangel Raphael offer you healing and solace the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright trust so going through a transition phase in your life where you've certainly gone through something significant, my loves. Mm -hmm. Deeply challenging, quite hurtful. 
It may have challenged you on many aspects, not only the heart chakra, your emotions, but also your finances. All right, let's pull your crowning energy from the beautiful Pegasus Oracle. Gorgeous deck by Lana Fairchild. It's one of my favorites, actually. I often use it in my own readings to feel the energy of what's going on. Now, if you do need extra guidance and support at this time, you need some questions answered with a personal reading, uh, I have just partnered with Spiritual Blossom. They have a wonderful team of experienced psychics and clairvoyants. So if you are interested in getting a reading, I will put their link on here and down below. Mm. Oh, we got some star energy coming through. You've pulled, have a look at that, the Pegasus of Vega. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Capricorn, beloved spirit Pegasus descends on the vibrational blessings of the star Vega. You are guided to focus not on what is being said so much as what is being done. Now that's kind of interesting, particularly with this king here surrounded by queens. So if somebody is saying something just to get your guard down or to get into your good books or get into your energy, right? And they don't follow it up with any action and you think, oh, well, they're inconsistent and they're going hot and cold. That's because they're spending time with other people, right? Trust what's being, trust their actions and their behavior versus what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You're encouraged to listen for the truth behind appearances and beneath words. Trust your intuitive sense of what is real, reliable and healthy for you. You're being granted healing from Vega, which helps align you with your inner soul note or frequency. Your psychic sensitivity is heightened at this time and you're learning how different frequencies enhance or distort your own. No judgment is required. Every note has a place in the music of the spheres, but some adjustments may be needed so your soul tune can sing true. And if something no longer feels good for you, you're invited to change it. The more self-aware you are, the more you can enhance your vibration through your choices. This will strengthen your soul note and bring you back into harmony more readily when the world intrudes with discordant notes. Embrace the changes in attitude and behavior that are naturally happening for you. These are the consequences of a soul frequency recalibration. You will enjoy becoming more of who you are and your tolerance for energies that distract you from your true note will decrease. This in turn will help you cleanse unhelpful influences from your life, trust in the changes taking place and know they're good for you. So everything bringing you into harmony and balance. So there's a big focus on you here, Capricorn, and doing what's right for you, my loves. Mm -hmm. All right, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated for you. Take it easy and for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.